What? Bobby. Yeah, I'm doing more Bobby Worlds. Go to go to Bobby's World. Go to uh, Kabillion.com. You can see we're starting to work on it, and I don't know what station you'll see it on soon, but we're making new episodes. And new I started doing that voice originally in Toronto when I was 11 years old. I was at a birthday party. I was choking on a piece of cake, and I couldn't breathe. It was halfway down my throat. That's the sound that was coming out of me. It was halfway down. I couldn't breathe. I was going, help me. Can't breathe. What the fuck are you laughing at? I was dying. Luckily, it got this lodge and I live, but I thought to myself, oh my God, everybody's looking at me and laughing at me. If I could just bring myself this close to death each and every night, it could be an entertainment. So like an idiot, I practiced in my room without cake. I got good at it, just with the muscles in my throat. And I went to school and in the back of the class, in my friend's ear, I'd go, <laughs> He would laugh, the teacher would catch me and go, Howie Mandel, if you have something funny to say, you stand up and you tell the whole class. And I remember thinking, she's right. Why perform for one person? I have a whole room here. I have a captive box. Like an idiot, I would stand up and go, Charlie. And she'd go out in the hall and I'd go, yes, I play the small rooms where I can play the hall, the cafeteria. And one day, if I'm lucky, Casino Rama. So that's it. So, and, then I, and then I went out to California and I started doing a lot of voiceovers. I did the Muppet Babies. I was Skeeter on the Muppet Babies. I was a little girl. It's not that great. Remember Skeeter? Skeeter, talk, Skeeter, talk like that. She had a little brother, Scooter. It's not that great. It's, if you listen closely, it's the exact same voice as Bobby. <laughs> Bobby is Skeeter. Skeeter? Bobby. Then I did all the Gremlin movies. I'm Gizmo, the first little fuzzy one that got wet and started all the, the Gremlins. It's not that great. Go get the DVD. He goes, Come on, Same voice. <laughs> so this is Skeeter, Bobby, Gizmo. I did have another voice. I could lower it so it sounded like it was in a terrible helium accident. And this is before I was on TV, nobody would recognize me. I used to go to the emergency rooms at the hospital, to the admitting desk, to, to uh, Branson Hospital at Young and Finch in Toronto. I used to go to the admitting desk, nobody knew it was me, and I'd walk, I'd walk up to the admitting nurse and I'd go, just a little more arm can I please get doctor? And she'd say, well, what's the problem? I'd go, what do you mean, what's the problem? I was at a birthday party. I wasn't the only one doing this. Everybody was doing this. <laughs> they had the helium balloons. They took the helium balloons. They sucked in the helium. Everybody's going to go, ooh, ha-ha, what's going to mean? Isn't that funny? Everybody's voice went back to normal within like a minute. Maybe a minute and a half. Was it like two, two and a half weeks ago? I am starting to get in the <laughs> It's embarrassing, I'm a growing man. It's coming out of the orifice now, and I pass wind, it's like... 